Hi everyone and welcome to Leah's Cross Stitch Corner. Look who I found. She's decided she wants to be in the video tonight. Oh, she's weird. She's in a very weird mood. Say, hiya. Say, hiya. Oh, don't show them your chin. I know, poor Ben. So welcome to day five. I'll just let her down. Come here, Barmy. Oh, you see that. Welcome to day five of my Caterpillar Cross Stitch and Historical Sampler Company Advent Unboxing. Sorry, she's being chaotic. Um, today is day five. I've just said that. I realise I've just said that. Summer's put me off. <laughs> we'll just blame Summer because she's she's nuts. I've got a cup of tea. I've just finished work, so I'm off tomorrow. So life is all good. It's going to be a nice stitchy evening. Graham doesn't finish work till 8 o'clock. So we're going to go up and I'm going to do some stitching while he's at work. Oh, it's a good cup of tea. So, for anyone who has never watched one of these ones before, this is my Flossmas Advent. I don't really know what Flossmas is, to be fair. I've kind of just, like, joined the hashtag. <laughs> Nobody tells me. I might be a floss tuber, but I don't know what these tags and things are. Which I would like to add, if anybody wants to tell me of any kind of like floss tube, um, um, like bingo things. I know Nifty Stitch does whip go. I don't know what whip go is. So let me know what I should be doing next year for floss tube. What things should I be participating in? I don't, sometimes I feel like I'm completely out of the loop with all of this. So please fill me in if you know, because I don't know. I don't know. So let's get into today's unboxing. As always, if you don't want to be spoiled, turn away now. I'm very excited to see what day five brings. So here is the Caterpillar cross stitch one. Let's slip his little band off. Just put it up there. Carefully open it up because we had an incident yesterday. <laughs> and let's get number. Oh, no, actually, I'll show you where he is first. Mm. So there's number five. It's a lovely design. They could have them in better. I don't know how. Because when you open it, they all fall out. So I'll, I'll cover that in my actual review at the, at the beginning of January. But yeah, it could be done better. But I don't know how, which is very helpful. So here's box number five. At Christmas, all roads lead home. Well, I'm already at home, as you all know. This is my bedroom. So, do you like my lights, by the way? I'll put them on a more sedate setting today because Graham said they were a little bit excessive yesterday. So I've like calmed them down a little bit. Unlike me, I am not calm. I am never calm. Ah, so, box number five. Let's see what's in it. <gasps> I think it's a pattern. I know, it's a pattern. What are we stitching? What are we stitching, baby? Oh, wow. It's quite a substantial pattern. Eddie the Elf. I am going to show it because nobody's going to be able to actually take a screen grab of it. But there's the pattern. And I'm just going to take it away quickly because I don't want to get wrong. So it's called Eddie the Elf. He's quite substantial. And I don't think I've got all the threads for him yet. So I'm going to have to tuck him away until we get the threads. But I assume, let me just have a look. The threads were in. Were they, they weren't in box number one. That was the actual needle minder number two. Was it in there? Yeah, so we got three of the threads already. So let me just check the correspond. 700. Yep. 351. Yep. 3774. Yep. So there's three of the threads. So I could start stitching them actually. However, I have got a project to finish upstairs, which I'm going to finish. It's nothing Christmas related. So I might do that first and then I might get that kitted up and get away with the ones that I've already got. So the clothes that I've done, I might actually get him done. Because I'm going, I mean, it doesn't say, but I assume he goes on that lovely sparkly Ada that we got in day number three. We shall see. I just had a right panic there because box number four is not turned the other side. I thought I'd missed a day and skipped a day and opened five instead of four. <gasps> I nearly died. So there's box number five. Oh, I can't wait to stitch him up. Eddie the Elf. 
Now that makes me think of Frasier because Frasier has a dog. Well, Martin, Frasier's dad has a dog called Eddie. I love Eddie. He's my favourite. So let's put that back on. And then let's get into this bad boy. Historical Sampler Company advent box. Summer's asleep by my feet. She came up all giddy and then she wouldn't come and sit with me and then she went nuts and then she came up on the poofy because I've got a poofy in front of me and then I pulled her over for the video. Oh, madness. So here's number five for historical sampler. Let's see what they've got for us today. Oh, a wooden Christmas decoration. So again, this is more of the like presenty side rather than the cross stitchy side. But it looks like a little Scotty Westy kind of dog. I'll pop that on our tree over there, I think. It's quite cute. Historical Stamp the Company actually did get in touch with me and they sent me a private message on Instagram explaining that their cross stitch advent calendar isn't just cross stitch, which we obviously know. Um and I completely appreciate how they do it. I appreciate they say that's how the people like it, which is absolutely fine. It's just not what I was expecting. So I wasn't being mean by any chance. I wasn't being rude and, you know, but I will be honest. I believe it's important to be honest. You know, I was offered the chance to re to receive this advent box for free, but Graham had already bought it for me. So I declined and I am glad I did because it allows me to be honest without feeling like, you know, they've given me this gift. This is the thing when it comes to getting things for free. Do you be honest or do you be polite to still get free things? I go the other way. I used to be a book blogger back in the day um, and we used to get review copies and, you know, we would review them. And I always said I would give a good review or a bad review. Whether I got the book for free or paid for it was not relevant to how I rated it. Maybe perhaps I was a tiny little bit more generous with the rating. So like instead of giving it a two, I'd give it a three. But I never lied. I was never like, oh, this is the best book ever, just so I could get, still get free books. And I'm kind of going to be the same way with my channel. I will review things honestly. So far, I'm more impressed with the Caterpillar Cross Stitch Advent Calendar. But I'm intrigued to see where the historical one goes. And it's nice to know that if pe other people do like that, absolutely that's up to them. But I would probably go for the Caterpillar one next year. But I'm going to see how it goes. The beads, by the way, can go on day one's advent the little kit that we got so I'm going to put them on there thank you to Kat from Kat and Lily for letting me know I think somebody else did as well Michelle did as well so thank you that's you know I didn't notice in my rush to obviously unbox I didn't see so I'm excited to try and use some seed beads I think they could start making things blingy and fun so yes I'm not a miser a miser I don't know I'm not a screwed I don't mean to be this it's certainly I'm not you know dissing the advent calendar by any means but i am going to be honest and it's what me and graham talked about last night let me just have a sip so it's really important to keep integrity i think with my channel you know there are people who are paid or given free things to promote companies that isn't me if i ever get anything for free i will tell you and I'll also make sure to tell the company that actually I will be honest. So like if the product is rubbish, I will tell you the product's rubbish. So yeah, if I ever do any kind of like um, brandy things, if I work with any brands or receive anything for free and I'm asked to promote it or speak about it, I will do if it's something I'm interested in. I won't just do it for the sake of it. So I didn't really mean to add that to the end of this video, but I thought it was important to say because I think it is really important. So, yeah, I'm quite excited. I'm going to get him up because I think he's cute. I genuinely do think that's cute. It's not what I want from a cross-stitch advent calendar, but he is very cute. And I love dogs, so that's always a win. So that's day five. I'll just put him back in his packet. Day six tomorrow. And I get to open it early because I'm off work, so I don't have to wait all day. Way! Fantastic. And we'll see what tomorrow brings. Um, I'm off to do the guinea pigs, they need a bit of a clean and then I'm going to go and do some cross stitching with Graham. So I hope you all have a lovely evening. I'll see you tomorrow night at 7 for more festive fun. Um, I hope you like the brief interlude from summer and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!